morning, girls. Brenda's here. So I'm happy. Thank you for all your compliments yesterday on me being able to get those links up. <laughs> it was hard. It's not easy. It'll probably be easier today. Anyway, I'm going to show you what I found at Goodwill for my outfit of the week. Don't look at my butt. I know you will. This cute little striped blouse and these little white pants. See? No stains, no nothing. Fits perfect. I love it. Now let me get this chair up here. Uh, I really got up this morning, girls. I got up and the air conditioner in the dining room was off. I just sit down. I said, oh Lord, I can't take it no more. But I guess it got hot and it burned that uh, extension thing that I had it plugged into. So I got one of those heavy duty ones and plugged it in. Thank God it came back on. Ugh. It came back on. But it seems to be cooler today. Get these. I think my eyelashes are getting shorter. Because I'm starting to get my eyelid in there. Oh, and I had this little woman yesterday she's disabled I'm the sunshine of her day even when I feel bad I have to make a video okay let me put this eyeliner around and today what I'm gonna hold on what I'm gonna put on uh I'm gonna link all my skincare my morning skin care below and i'm just gonna tell you what i'm putting on here because you probably already know i looked up to see if i was recording you know how i am um yes she said she looks for me every day so even if I don't feel good, I'm going to get on here and make a video anyway. But really, I didn't feel, I gave that air conditioner thing. Make me actually sick in my stomach. Thank God I had some protonics. And gross one, I didn't tell you that the nurse told me the other day. I was a little bit embarrassed. She told me I was obese for my height. I don't believe it, but maybe I just don't want to believe it. But I have been kind of on a diet. Okay, that was the CoverGirl black eyeliner pencil with that little smudge on the end of it. And we're going to work out a diet. Sight palette, Sight London palette, the editor's palette. I'm going to use a uh, well, that's shiny. What colors are the colors on here? No, the colors are not on here, but I'm going to use this light brown right here as my transition color. I drove my car to church yesterday and, and nothing happened, but it's still not fixed because that engine light is still on. I guess you'll have to turn that light off. I don't know. Well, I'm really shoving that on there.
But I'm not going to church until it cools off. I'm not going again. Well, Sassy went outside and got a sunburn. That's how hot it is here. You know Sassy don't stay out there a long time, but she's visiting the neighbors. Trying to get a treat off of them, probably. So I put a little short of her up. <laughs> of her little sunburn. She didn't want to look at me. Until I said snacky snack. Well, then she got all involved in that. Because she's a pig. She is a little piggy pig. But she's my little piggy pig. I got a white spot on my eyelid. We're not going to worry about that. Then in my crease, I'm going to get... Oh, what color is that? Let me look at that. Let me get close. Oh, I thought that was a dark purple. We're not doing blue. We draw on the line on the blue these days, girls. I'm going to use this dark purple. Anyway, I'm always been asked, what do you put on your skin? So, I'm going to list that below. I'm not getting out of this house today. Brenda brought me a Coke. That's all I need. That is all I need, girls. Oh, no. It's Carol. She's doing the Barbie look again. Carol, quit. No. I thought about doing the Barbie look, but let's face it. <laughs> That's not happening. That's not going to happen. I can't pull that off. Now, Carol can. She has real good skin. She has no wrinkles on her neck or chest. She took real good care of herself. I was late to the game on that. So all over my lid, I'm going to... Oh, I'm going to use this. It's got a little shimmer to it. Uh oh. I don't know if I like that. Hold on. Let's... Let me look. Well, I'll put it on the other eye and then I'm going to another color. Well, maybe I don't have enough on. No, I, <laughs> it's looking better. It's looking better, girls. Don't get worried. I'm worried. I'm worried about it. I don't want to look like somebody slugged me in the eye. Oh my God, I started to carry the trash out last night. I waited till it cooled off to go out there. It was so hot. It was terrible yesterday. Um, so I went out there to carry the trash out last night. And you know I love Jake. But Jake was outside. I'm afraid of him, but I love him. I'm not going to let nothing happen to him, but I do love him. I'm scared of him. Uh, oh, I don't have anything to put in my inner corner. Let's put this kind of a gray looking color. We'll just try it. We don't have to use it. We, we can do something else. And you know we will. Anyway, so Ray was out there with him. I didn't take my trash out because, you know, Jake likes me because I feed him and I make sure he's okay. Um, that didn't do much. Um, so anyway, Ray was out there and he came over here and Jake was following him. I was standing in the door and, um, Jake was uh, limping. And I said, what is wrong with Jake's uh, foot? 
Well, Ray has a little motorcycle. A little one. I think it's his grandson's. And, um, so Ray let Jake loose to chase the motorcycle on the hot ground. Girls, I'm not picking on Ray or nothing, but my God. I don't know how far he took him. But he took him so far that his feet were bleeding. It kind of ticked me off a little bit, girls. But you know, I got to keep my mouth shut sometimes because I don't want them to figure out it was me that called in on them for tying him up. But at least Ray did try to pay some attention to him. I got to give him credit for that. But he took that dog too far. That ground is hot. Can you imagine how hot that ground is? This, this isn't showing up for me today, girls. But I'm in a hurry to get in there and visit with Brenda. I miss my Brenda. <laughs> anyway, so... Am I going to leave that out? Yes. I'm leaving that out. I'm going to take my finger and lighten that up a little bit. I'm not looking as good today as I did yesterday, girls. I was mm, pretty good yesterday. <laughs> I was looking pretty good yesterday when I started off to church, but when I came home. <laughs> no, I did not look good. It was horrible. Okay, let's put some... Put our black. We gotta do our black or it won't work. I have to have it. Anyway, yes, I, I love this little blouse. You can't tell how cute it is. It's really cute. And it's like brand new. So are these pants. An update on my washer. I'm just going to do small loads. It works on small loads. Until after I pay to get my car fixed. Because his parts are not in yet. Or so they say. I think it is so hot nobody wants to get out. I've got to call Wes today. Because he's supposed to come to my yard tomorrow. And I hate to do it. I was hoping that he would call me. I don't want to ask anybody to come out and mow grass in this heat. Oh. Remember that time I went to the... Did something happen right there? Cigarette shop and there was this boy standing out in front of it. And I gave him some money. He didn't ask me for nothing. But I could tell... That maybe he was hungry or something. I guess that's a water freckles. Um, I still gave him some money. Well, bless his heart, there he was. And this time he didn't have his bicycle. He had walked up there. You can tell he's very poor. Mm, poor as me. <laughs> Maybe worse. But, uh... He was just, he didn't ask me for nothing. He says, May, hi, good afternoon, ma'am. How's your day? Standing out there in that heat. So I went in. And I got a Coke. And when I came out, I gave him $5. Because he just, then he was so grateful for it. You can tell when somebody's in need. If you look, God will show them to you. And you got to help them if you can, as best you can. And five dollars is as best as I could do. <laughs> That's my best. Mm. So anyway, now I'm going to put my primer on. That was the LA Colors matte. Brown tweed, I only use the black. Anyway, 
So when I got home from church, I was completely destroyed, girls. The makeup was gone. The hair was straight. I sweat and it was awful. It was terrible. So I thought about that boy. And I, oh my God. How awful it would be to really be in need and stand out in this heat. No, I had to help him. You never know what people are going through. Because I think we all try to act like the most of us. I do. I know I do. Things are not as bad as they really are. Well, actually, I don't. And I'll tell you girls everything. But I remember we had these kids. I don't remember their names. When I lived in California, they were from another state. And everybody called them cooties. And they were afraid of them. I don't know where they're from. They may have been from Texas. <laughs> I don't know. But so one day we were walking down the alley. Me and my sister and Pam Trimble. She died. Um, so I'll stop to talk to them. Because, you know, I'm all, I've always been a talker. Girls, they had webbed fingers. I, I told them, let me see that. <laughs> they showed me. You never know what's going on until you stop and talk to somebody. And I'll talk to anyone. Yeah, they had uh, webbed fingers. So I went home and I told my mother. And pretty. That's why. <laughs> Mom, shut up. It's not in pretty. It's in pretty. <laughs> That's what causes that. Take a good look at them. Their eyes are going to be too close together. All kinds of stuff. <laughs> Don't be talking. <laughs> Like that, you don't know what those kids are going through. <clears throat> but back in the day, I guess that went on. I don't know. It didn't go in my family. We were kind of always, we were pretty smart girls. We knew what was going on. If something doesn't feel right, it's probably not right. Get away from it. I love blue and white. My mother used to wear white jeans all the time in the summer. She was something else, girls. She was something else. She was pretty. She had good shape. She had a great looking butt. I used to. <laughs> But my balloon's out of control. <laughs> um, she always went to the beauty shop. She kept her hair up real good. 
You'd be proud of her to see her coming as your mother back then. Well, she's gone. But usually when I saw her coming, I was in trouble. <laughs> oh, God, here comes Mom. Hide. Yeah, when I saw her coming to school, I knew. Oh, my God, I'm in trouble again. What have I done? Usually it was talking. One time, I got swats, and then I, then I got a spanking when I got home. Well, you know, I'm, it was just after recess. Well, I was sitting on top of my desk talking to the class. <laughs> well, I didn't stop when the teacher came in. So, she told me to get down off that desk. Well, I stayed a couple of seconds longer. She sent me to the office. I got slots. Well, I thought that was all there was to it. But no. That was the big mood. Mm, scare her. No, my mother was waiting for me when I got home. So you're controlling the class now. <laughs> I'll show you who's in control. Come here. <laughs> oh, my God. I even got to sign one teacher's paddle at the end of the year. The one that got the most slots. Got to sign. <laughs> and it was all for talking. Every time I got in trouble, it was my mouth. She's talking to you. She's trying to control things. She's out of control. <laughs> There's something here and I can't get up. Did I get up? I don't think I did. There. She's up here out of control. But then, I was very brave. Well, I acted like I was. Really, I wasn't. I was scared half the time. But anyway, we had a prowler. Do you know that my mother sent me outside? <laughs> and of course, I couldn't show my weakness. Someone out there. Who, who's out here? Who is out here? Well, I really didn't think anybody was out there. That there was somebody out there. Because the next day our bicycles were gone. Yep. Somebody was out there. Could have beat me crap out of me. But there I was, trying to be brave. Trying to defend my mother. <laughs> Mm -mm. Uh, that was that Catrice Ultimate Camouflage Cream. I told you guys this was a corrector, but it's not. It's a concealer. But I'm going to put some more concealer over it. Because I can see it. But it does cover good. There's a little black dot. Yeah, I got it on my nose. Anyway, I'm not going back to church until it cools off. This is terrible. Something's happening. I can see it. I'll be watching my mouth to make sure it's going with the voice. It's when I move. Something's going on here. We'll see. I may have to do another video. I might have to go back to that other camera. I really don't want to. I wish Renee would get back into town so she could help me do this room. I don't think.
think that did anything. It's too hot to worry about it, girls. We're just trying to look the best we can <laughs> for this heat. And I thought my air conditioner in my bedroom was broke. This is the Catrice True, Crit, True Skin Warm Vanilla and Cool Cashmere. I'm mixing them. And, um, and that was the Maybelline Age Instant Age Rewind Eraser. Anyway, I'm, I'm just, I can't take that heat. And then, too, you know, I was afraid my car might break down. But hopefully it'll be fixed today or tomorrow. And hopefully, poor old Wes, I'll have. You know, I hate to ask him. It's too hot to ask somebody to get out in that. And mow a grass. I saw a guy mowing grass yesterday. I'll have to tell you girls this. Well, I don't really. It was a man. He was an older man. He was handsome. And I think he must go to the gym. I started to slow down. <laughs> Take a better look. He had his shirt off. He was drenched in sweat and he had a tan. <laughs> he was looking good to me. <laughs> oh my God. He, he didn't look good. He was old too because he had a whole head of gray hair, white hair, like my Jimmy. My Jimmy was always tan too. And he always had a six pack too, but he never went to the gym. He was just always doing stuff. I think some people just naturally have a good body. That man did. <laughs> Girls, I'm old. I'm not blind. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not a bit blind. Mm -mm. Okay, let's do some contouring. No, nope, I've had the I've had the surgery on both eyes. <laughs> I've got new lenses. I can see pretty good. To do everything from afar, but up close I have to have glasses. Thank God he was far off. <laughs> we still look, girls. We don't have to touch, but we look. <laughs> We can remember. <laughs> we have our memories. <laughs> I have good memories. I have so many good memories. Not not of men. Well, some of men. But, you know, I was, I was with Jim 30-something years. Or 32 years. But, But we're not blind. I wish I didn't have to smooth this in. It really hides that fat, <laughs> that hanging jowl, jowls. But we can't go around like this. We've got to cover that up. And one time, Jim was sitting on the porch. He came, it, was, well, it was when he had his own house. And he came over here. And I had on my gown, and I was sitting out there on the porch talking to Jim. Came riding up on his bicycle before we got remarried. We had to get remarried because we were both jealous. <laughs> so, I don't remember how old he was. But he told me to go in and put some clothes on that that sun was shining through my gown. And he said, Judy, we might not be together, but I'm not blind. <laughs> go put some clothes on. 
We had to get back together. We couldn't leave each other alone. <laughs> what a mess we were. We had to do it. We had to get married again. Oh, that was the Catrice Air Mat, Air Blush Mat in Peach Heaven. Yeah, me and Jim were something else. If I could, I'd do it all over again. I changed a couple of things. Well, he got a girlfriend one time, and he went to Michigan. I went to Michigan and got him and made him come home. <laughs> oh my God. What a mess. What a mess. Okay, let's blend that in. I hope this video turns out. Because it was lagging, you know, again. So I googled what causes your camera to lag. And it said clear the cache on as much as you can. So I did that. And you know, really, I did have a lot of stuff. So maybe we'll. Maybe we'll do better today. Let's watch that now. It's moving with the voice girls. We're doing good. If things had quit breaking, I'd get me a <laughs> web. I think it's a webcam I need. May wear some earrings today. There. I dreamed about Jim last night. That's why he's on my mind. Or early this morning before I woke up. I'm oh, sorry. Okay. This is all right. We've got to come up higher on this eye. And then come over there. Oh, do I have the mad look on that eye? I don't know. Something's different. It's right here, I thought. That's good. Now let's brush them. Okay. This is the Wet n Wild Retractable Eyebrow Pencil in Medium Brown. Oh, it's time to put lipstick on. Let's put some lipstick on. <clears throat> Well, that's a pretty, oh no, that's a plumper. Well, I need a plumper. Put it on that top lip. And then a lady asked me to show her how to do my bun. 
So I'm going to do that one day this week. I'm going to put this uh, lip balm on top of that plumper. Oh, we better put it over here. What does this say? Shoot. Up my lip. That's what it says. What color is it? Good girls. I don't know. I can't see that at all. Let's try a magnifying glass and glasses. Hold on. Quit shaking, Judy. Birthday suit. It's a birthday suit, girls. This is Persona Lip Balm in Manifest. I can't wait to get there and get the gossip, me and, me and Brenda. <laughs> I don't know no gossip. I need to get out more. Well, Brenda doesn't get out much either. But she knows people. I don't know a lot of people. Well, anymore. I used to. I used to know everybody. But they're dead, most of them. And they're not living the same life. This little ponytail's not making it. Not living the same lifestyle as me anymore. So. But when I see them, I do speak to them. You know, I love them. I love everyone. Let's put some powder on. You know, I really do love everyone. I can't think of anybody I don't like. Way up, Megan. I don't like Megan. Oh, no, where's my brush? Oh, laying right there. I'm going to have to give up on this and <laughs> open that new one. It's really good stuff. If you think you can't wear powder because you have wrinkles, it's not true. This powder is so finely milled. It feels like nothing. And it really gets in there and hides and closes those pores. And it's Elf Perfect Finish HD Powder. And then after you put it on, my nose is running. Then you take this big brush and all the excess powder will come off. And then you take your setting spray, and this is Pharmacy Time Locker Have Fun Fixer Spray. I don't know why it's called a fixer spray. I'm going to have to Google that. Is there a difference in a fixer spray and a setting spray? I might be doing this all wrong, but this is good stuff. Okay, girls. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to link the makeup because it's basically the same thing I wore yesterday. But I am going to link my skincare and my hair care below. Don't go by the hairdo I've got today, girls. And probably not tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow, I'm probably going to have a bun. Okay, thanks for watching. I love you. If you're new to the channel, please hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell. And have a good day and stay cool. And I love you. Bye.